Hey team, Mesh-tastic. Is it magic or is it just another freaking gadget? Everybody who's out there is telling you that these are the best things since sliced bread. Well, I'm going to give you not one, but the top 10 good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm going to give it all to you, like not just the good stuff. And the ugly, to be honest with you, I'll give it to you last, uh, is... My greatest reservation for if Meshtastic is a viable solution for those who have a prepared mindset. Now, if you have experience using Meshtastic and you agree, disagree, or have your own things that you want to say into the conversation, make sure you leave some comments down below because that's where the magic happens and... Hondo is going nuts. So the very first thing that the Mesh Tastic does, it's kind of in the name, it's a mesh. And so what does that mean? That means that if all of these, I have four, right? I've been working and playing with these things, right? One, two, three, four, kind of juggling these things here. If this radio is talking in the mesh and all of four of these are in here, and this one and this one is is well, well let's go this one and this one is in range right but this one and this one is not in range and so definitely this one and this one is not even close to being in range because it's in a mesh and they are all in range of each other individually the message that you send from here is going to make it to here and that's freaking huge that is bonafide the best thing about Probably the best thing about this setup. So the first, and I'm going to give these things to you, good, bad, good, bad, and then we'll hold off the ugly for the back end. So here we go. Now, the first bad thing about Mistastic is it has horrible line of sight, and that's primarily due to a couple reasons that, that I'll try to explain. Uh, but let me give you an example. Here at where I am situated... I have a small uh, spur that comes down, and I, I do the vast majority of my training down in that draw. Now, with a bow funk radio, uh, everybody's a favorite, which is pushing, you know, at most between five to eight watts, depending on you know which model that uh, you're using. I can reach down throughout anywhere that I want to. Like I, I can, I can reach out for a mile through this brush and some of the vegetation, right? Uh, but these guys are true line of sight. So if there is any dirt between one radio and the next, you, you, you've you lost line of sight. So if you live in the vast majority of America, like you're okay. But if you live all the way out in the Mountain West, whether you know, you're in the Sierra Nevadas or Cascades, maybe you're in the Rocky Mountains, maybe over here in Appalachia, you got some stuff to figure out right you got some stuff to figure out because you need freaking line of sight like legit line of sight will they cut through vegetation yes because you know uh the frequency that it's working off of you know all the way up in the 900s it's going to be able to get through some vegetation but it cannot get through terrain and part of that reason is because they're extremely low power i want to say uh like 0.1 watts right 0.1 watts compare that to, to that bow funk radio and then you tell me which one has more the next great thing about this is that you can also as well as a mesh right you can dm so these two radios if all these guys are connected right these two radios can have their own chats that nobody else knows about uh and this guy has no clue and then you can also send a mesh message so that all of the radios are getting them. So that, that's pretty, you know, whatever. It's like a text message. To caveat off of that, one of the downsides is you cannot DM through the mesh. So if this radio wants to send a direct message to this radio, but they are out of sight, even though there is a radio in between that is in sight of both of them, uh, a direct message will not make it from here to here, right? You have to have a line of sight. 
Uh, the only other option would be to have one radio set up as a repeater. Being able to set up a radio as a standalone repeater out there or relay out there is pretty awesome. And t on that note, like these things are highly customizable, right? We're talking about all of the GPS functions that can be turned on and off and, and how many... Uh, all of the in-betweens in there that, that you can set. Like, this is how fast I want things to work. This is how efficient I want things to work. This is how many jumps I want to be able to, to, be able to set in. Highly customizable. And one of those custom, customization things is to be able to just set one up as a repeater, right? So that, that's pretty dope. Which means you're not talking through it. It's a freaking repeater. Um... One of the downsides for the vast majority of Americans when it comes to the Mastastic is you kind of have to be a nerd. Like, they, they, they are not bring-out-of-the-box plug-and-play devices. Uh, you need to flash them at, at a bare minimum and make sure the firmware is up-to-date. Like, I know, why are you buying something that is not up-to-freaking-date? I don't know. I don't make these things. But you do. You got to flash them, make sure they're all running the latest firmware, and then go in and customize them as you see fit. Um, and then in order to be able to get the most bang out of the buck, you got to be able to figure out how to, how to get in here and get through this stuff. On that note, like there is um, you know, a pretty good group of folks out there on forums who will help you if you have issues. Like You don't have to go at it alone. But don't think that you're just going to, you know, order these things and magic man, it's going to work. It's, it doesn't work that way. The last great thing about the Meshtastic is that it is offline and off grid. So what I mean by that is you can use any device uh, that has never touched the internet as long as you can. Well, you have to download the freaking app. Uh, but after that, you can be completely offline, which means you could be outside of cell phone range, right? Cell phone towers could be down. Um, you could have a offline device, like you only put it online for whatever reason. Maybe it's just to download the, the Mastastic app. Um, and it'll work because it doesn't need the infrastructure of towers or other item or other facilities or, or other hardware that's out there. All you need are, are these radios, right? Does that make sense? And your devices that are out there that you have programmed and set ready to run this stuff. And that is probably, you know, other than being offering a true mesh, which is badass, uh, being secure, uh, badass did we talk about it being secure uh if not if you're not in the mesh you're not going to be able to hear it because it's a burst transmission and the only way to be able to, to to read the messages is to be in the same mesh i.e in in effect it's freaking secure pretty badass uh is it breakable hackable like maybe but whatever so now the last bad thing before the ugly uh, you got horrible range. Now, if you have pure and awesome line of sight, you're going to have great range. Uh, even though they are low power, uh, you're going to be able to get good range as long as you have line of sight. Now, if you don't have line of sight, uh, your ability to, to determine how far apart these things can get before you lose line of sight uh, you're going to have to play around with it. Like me, I know for me, if I go set up one of these uh, about 150 uh, meters, maybe 200, I can have one here, down here in the, in the command post area, right? I can take another one of these up and I can set it up at the top of that spur, which is only 150 meters away. That's as far as I can talk going in that direction. But if I just set one up there, now I can take a, ra a radio out with me into the training area and I can reach back all the way here and be able to send messages. Uh, but again, you know, it's just what type of terrain are you dealing with 
that's going to help dictate and shape the line of sight and the range that you have. And now here's the ugly. I'm talking, it is so ugly, it is freaking fugly. It's fugly. And it's so bad, it makes me want to not even, it makes me want to throw these things away. And not mess with it. I'm not going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find my way through this mess. But it's freaking bad. And for those who might be of a prepared mindset, it makes these things a gadget. It makes them garbage. Like, it's not even a Swiss freaking army knife, right? It's not even that cheap. It's cheaper than that. I, I, I like a Swiss army knife, but come on. We have to do better than this. And here it is. These devices will, for without rhyme or reason, disconnect. Like, you still have power. You, you still have another day and a half, two days of power. Maybe you're even plugged into a power bank, which is plugged into a solar panel for 24-7 freaking power, day in and day out, never going to run out. And for whatever freaking reason, it will drop, vanish, it's disappeared, it's gone. A wall. So now what that means, maybe this was your relay or your repeater, right? Now you're SOL. Maybe it was another radio in the mesh and, and now you just don't know. Like, what's the status of that node? You don't know. Hondo, huh, that's enough. And the only way for somebody to figure this out is to be able to go into their app. or I mean, you, you'd be able to see a red light, you know, flashing. But the distant end's not going to know. Only... That's enough. Right? You're going to see a red light flashing. But the distant end isn't going to know. Only you're going to know. And the only way to fix it is to maybe push the button... And see if it comes back online. Maybe it does immediately. Or maybe you got to be a little bit more of a nerd and figure it the frick out. And for that reason, I cannot honestly give a 100% thumbs up, absolute recommend. You must go out and get these things because they are inexpensive. They are secure. They are offline and off-grid. They do offer a true mesh, and, but, but even with all of that, we need to, we need this we need to make comms great again. And so we need to we need to retool refit. I got to do some more work with these things. Team, let me know what you think down in the comments below about mesh tastic. If you've used these things, what your pros and cons are of them. So we can all continue to master our craft and develop our tactical virtue. I appreciate you guys. Until then, you stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked. Team, if you want to master your craft and develop your tactical virtue, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with future content. Consider becoming a channel member. It's going to give you exclusive access to content not available to anybody else. I appreciate you guys. Until then, you stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay safe. We know you're out there! Come to my voice!